Welcome to Pasco County School District's My Professional Growth Systems video tutorial series. This video series is designed to provide end users with just-in-time instruction that is needed to complete various tasks within the portal. This video specifically will show users how to log in to MyPGS, understand role-based permissions and views, and give users an overview of how to navigate the MyPGS portal. To begin, you will navigate to pasco.truenorthlogic.com. Then, you will sign in using your typical district username and password. Once logged in, you will be directed to the home page. From here, you will see a series of tabs across the top of the page. These tabs will be used to access different modules of the portal. Then, within several of the pages, you will see small orange headers. These outline smaller segments of content called channels. Each channel will contain different important information or a link to another part of the portal. From the home page, you will first see the Welcome channel. As you scroll down, you will see channels related to the courses in MyPGS. These channels will display courses for which you are required to enroll in or recommended to enroll in. On the left, you will see a link for the calendar. This calendar will display events both personal and district-wide that are housed within the MyPGS portal. You will also see a link for announcements. This will display announcements to you. These announcements may appear to all users in the district, or they may be targeted to you based on your demographic and profile information that has been registered within MyPGS. These links will remain in this area everywhere you travel within the portal for easy access to your calendar and announcements. To move between the pages on the site, you will use the tabs across the top. It is important to note that because MyPGS is a role-based system, not all users will have the same tabs. Each user will have the tabs that are associated with their job type and permissions within the system. For example, the Staff Evaluations tab will only appear for evaluators, as this is where they will access the evaluation plans of individuals that they evaluate. This concept of role-based permissions permeates the entire portal. Because of this design, different users can have varied access to multiple parts of the portal. For example, when inside an evaluation plan, this design allows a principal to have edit rights to a rating form, while the teacher maintains view-only rights and can see the ratings that were input and shared. The Courses tab will be used to search for courses as well as to register and withdraw from them. Within this tab, users will be able to manage their transcript and any courses that they have searched for. Users can search for a course by keyword in the Course Search channel or search by subject, strategic goal, or job in the Resource by Tags channel. The Credentials tab will be used to view current credentials and transcript information. The My Evaluations tab will be used by employees to access their evaluation plans. Within this tab, users can access their evaluation plan by clicking on the plan. Once inside the plan, users can access the activities pertaining to the plan by clicking on the containers to open them and clicking on the activities. The Staff Evaluations tab will be used by school administrators to access the evaluation plan of employees. The Resources tab is available to users to assist them with the professional development and evaluation process. This tab will contain links to step-by-step -step system documentation and a range of video tutorials to assist in various processes that can be completed within the portal. The Staff Management tab will be used by site administrators to manage staff permissions and access a series of reporting tools. The Administration tab, referring to System Administration, houses a variety of applications that can be used to manage the portal. These applications vary from managing user accounts to creating content to creating and publishing various reports. The best way to learn the system is to explore. Now that you've seen a basic overview, jump in, dig around, and maximize its potential. This concludes this video tutorial designed to help end users navigate the MyPGS portal.